I wrote a short story, and there's probably about 40 town names I dropped in this one. Okay. The name of the story? The Ontario Hookup. By Jim Kelly. Well, I was outside of the pub last night having a Dartmouth when, uh, didn't actually have a wingman man with me, but I was still looking to get luck, no. When all of a sudden this Broadhagen came up to me and asked if she could Peter- Peterborough my lighter. She was dressed in an Orangeville tank top and moose and knee-high boots, and she was uh, looking to party. She pulled out a bag of Etobicoke, and we snuck into the bathroom and got a little Dell high. I gotta be honest, looking at her, there was a whole list of all the things wrong with her, but mark of my words, I was desperate and aching for some Flesherton. We drank some uh, Bancroft beers and had a chat about our lives, and when the bill came, I pulled out a wad of cash, and she looked at the money and said, God, you're rich. I said, yeah, I make money hand over fist. I'd have to be a blind river not to pick up the vibes she was putting out. She was pretty much throwing her Beaverton at me. <laughs> we left the bar and hopped in a Kappa's casing. I popped a Minto on my mouth. The next thing you know, we're back at her place making out in the kitchener. <laughs> Turns out she was a little King Cardin, too. She excused herself to the Bathurst and came out Delaware in nothing but her birthday Sault St. Marie. <laughs> you know, her Tecumseys were kind of Wasaga, but I didn't mind. <laughs> we headed into the bedroom and I started using my Palmerston. Then my Fingal. I was really working that Clinton. You wouldn't believe the Owen sound she was making. Well, and the next thing you know, I hear a knock at the door, Chester, and she freezes. Thomas, she says. I pointed to myself and said, this St. Thomas. She said, no, Thomas is my ex-husband. Well, God, things were looking pretty Grimsby, so at that point, I, I realized it was time to exit her. So I gathered my Mount Bridges and made a dashwood out the window. Moral of the story, Taz, be careful with strangers, because after that day, I was feeling pretty Elderton, and when I peed, it shell burned for weeks. <laughs> I got to hear that again, man. That was so good.